I started sailing in about 1945 uh, with my brother uh, at a place called Tynmouth, which is near Newton Abbot and Devon, uh, as a young child. I think it's in my blood. My great-grandfather, my grandfather, um, um, my uncle, my brother were all in the Navy. Well, I've been retired for many years and I usually get up about half seven in the morning, cook breakfast for myself and my wife. Uh, it's part of our deal. I cook breakfast, she cooks dinner. And then usually I go down to either look at my boat or maybe take my daughter's dog for a walk. Um, eventually ending up usually at the Boatyard Cafe for a cup of coffee to see a few of my friends or other members of Western Bay Yacht Club who I've been a member of for many, many years now. And then if the weather's clement, if the tide is in, I go sailing, which can entail either going to Cardiff or down the Channel to Milford Haven or even across to France or Ireland. These are all destinations I've actually visited over the years. My wife hates boats because she doesn't like getting cold and wet. It's one reason she doesn't ever come sailing with me, but she never really minds me going sailing as long as I come back. Otherwise, she might cry, I think, a little if I didn't come back. When I'm on the boat, I'm usually thinking about many things, but generally speaking, one is just admiring the scenery, uh, looking at the birds, looking at the sea, the wind, the wind direction, the force of the waves hitting the boat, uh, and other things tend to be lost to you because you're at peace with the world. I think I am a little bit of a loner, but I do like company and I have many friends who I do sail with, but unfortunately many of them have girlfriends who insist on them returning when I can still go sailing, so that's why I'm a loner. You have to be a fool not to be afraid. The sea is a dangerous place. It always has been and always will be. One has to respect it and know its ways, which can be very intimidating at times and can change dramatically in a few minutes. When I'm alone on the boat, it gives you a feeling of freedom. It's also being at one with nature. That's the real freedom. One is never really satisfied with life. It's always a temptation to do something new. I'm always open to suggestions. I haven't any trips specifically planned at the present moment, but I do have an idea of sailing down to Plymouth again next year. <laughs> <laughs>